Hey there, Detective Geek here, and I'm looking for clues. Clues that animals are still out and about in the cold months of winter. Wintering animals may seldom be seen, but their signs tell stories of their relationships with each other, what they eat, where they sleep, and even how many and what gender of animals are nearby. The tracks that animals make with their feet, tails, and bodies may be interesting by themselves, but put more than one kind together, and that's where the stories are told. In a snowy patch of woods, I found these rabbit tracks, and these fox tracks, and then I found them both in the same spot. What happened here? It's easy to jump to the conclusion that the fox ate the rabbit, but there's not a single drop of blood to be found on the pristine white snow. There's also no evidence of a chase. We can't see any super long hops being made by the rabbit in attempts of an escape or thrown snow from quick changes in direction by the fox. The tracks of the fox wander all around while the tracks of the rabbit do not. Perhaps the story here is that a fox passed through this area sometime after the rabbit and became very interested in picking up on the scent and trail of a prospective meal. These two animals might have met later in the woods and left signs of a very different story, one like the one told by this next sign. We've all found feathers like this one before. No big revelation here, just a simple feather or two lost by a bird flying overhead or resting in the tree above. If you find a clump of feathers like these, however, something else is going on that deserves a second glance. When birds lose feathers by themselves, either by falling out on their own or through grooming out old loose feathers, it's done a single feather at a time. Feathers in clumps scattered beneath a tree are the sign that this dove met its demise at the talons of a predator, more than likely a cooper's hawk in this case. Okay, on to some less violent stories, I promise. What is this? Yep, it's bird poop. Just like with feathers, finding a single bird dropping doesn't tell us much, but finding a large quantity does. Birds defecate on average every 15 minutes when they're awake. That means if you find a lot of droppings in a single area like this, a bird was there for a significant amount of time. If we look up from this pile of droppings found at the base of an uprooted tree, we find a perfect little sleeping perch, just right for a small bird such as a sparrow to spend a cold, wintry night. If we were to come back to this very spot around sunset, we could even discover the identity of our sleepy friend just in time to see him fluff his feathers as he settles in for the night. Right around the spot where I found this bird roost, I also found a good amount of white-tailed deer droppings or scat. How many deer live in this park? Is the population healthy? The answer in this case isn't found in scat, but in another animal sign. In the winter, white-tailed deer typically eat acorns, buds and twigs of trees and shrubs, and even dried leaves. Bark is not a typical part of a deer's diet unless it's running out of food and is getting desperate. The amount of bark stripped from these sumacs is a sign that the deer population in this area has far outgrown the resources that this land can provide. The story revealed here is the kind that wildlife managers look for when determining whether hunting should be used to thin a local deer population so that the entire herd does not die from starvation. Would you believe me if I told you that there's an animal that you can tell the males from the females just by looking at its scat? It's true! These are droppings made by wild turkeys, and you can tell whether it was a male or a female that made the deposit just from the shape. Thanks to differences in the intestinal systems of toms and hens, the male scat tends to be straight or J-shaped, while female scat has been described as twisted clumps or amorphous lumps. Take this newfound knowledge with you the next time you go on a nature hike with a friend or a family member, and they'll say you really know your stuff. The signs that animals leave behind from tracks, feathers, and even scat don't just tell us that there's animals that are active in winter, but can tell us stories about their secret lives as well. We just have to keep a sharp eye out for them and read the clues. So get out on the trails and do some detective work, and I'll see you next time.